I done walked off both courts bleeding before, uh -huh. more than once. You know, people see sports and see basketball, but there's issues before you get to the gyms. You know, Mo has a lot of, you know, family things that's going on. Brother hasn't been that well. You know, he's kind of the man of the house. Moms is a strong, you know, strong woman, um, but he take care of home. Me, you know, get my mom out of here, get her out of D.C., my family. Just providing for my mom, everything she's done for me. I'm O. Johnson, number one scorer in the DMV, and this is my sequel day to day. Hey, my name is Kenneth Wright, co-owner of Hit Fit Training Facility and uh, owner of Get Right Personal Training. Been working with Mo, training Mo for about the last three to four years. The biggest transformation came actually this, this past year with him, uh, obviously being sidelined with all that's going on with COVID. You know, he's shown a lot of transformation as far as getting heavier, getting, getting stronger, putting, more, putting on more weight. Last couple of years, he's like tall and lanky, just real, you know, just straight up and down. Uh, but this off time has allowed us to really get him in the gym, focus on his eating, focus on his weight training, uh, and getting him more explosive and putting on more weight. Uh, he's getting, probably gained about 20 to 20, 25 pounds just this year alone. And so that's been attributed to his work ethic and him being, you know, him deciding to, you know, get serious about his, his physical development. Um, but the role that he's playing on his team, he's, he's having to play down low a little bit more too, which means he's going to have to bang with some of the bigger guys. You know, him, with him being able to get, get stronger and, and incre increase his development, he'll be ready. So. He woke up on his bully day, man. There you go. It's all over. It's all over. It's a bucket. Yes, ah! sir. Still undefeated. <laughs> undefeated. Growing up, playing basketball out, out right here on this court, it was right on this side. It's like, it's like we all battling. Yeah. Like, then we start playing for money. It's like everybody by themselves when they start physical. Yeah. It's like it helps though. Like for me, it helps. Help me get physical, more physical out here. Mm -hmm. So that, it translates to a real game. Man, the recruiting process, it's like a bumpy roller coaster. A bumpy, fun roller coaster. Mm -hmm. I think, oh man, it's crazy. We can make a right to it. It's like, it's a lot of like one month, you'll hit from coaches every day, every second. They start following you on social media, everything. Yeah. And then it's a slow down, then it pick back up, then slow down and pick back up. Yeah. It's a fun process though. I enjoy it. Nah, it's usually earlier than that. Like this 9 a.m. Yeah. What's up, bro? This 9 a.m. usually a 7 a.m. 6.45. 7 a. M. Yeah. How many days a week? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And you don't mind getting up four days out of the week that early. Oh no, nah, I'm mad, but I know it's for something. Yeah. I know it's all gonna pay off at the end. Me, yo, get my mom out of here. Get her out of DC. My family. Just providing for my mom, everything she's done for me. Yeah, my mom's definitely my wife, my family. I done walked off both courts bleeding before, uh -huh. more than once. And talk. All right, bet. We out here with Mo Johnson's day to day. Out here in DC. He a DC legend, they call him the ticket. He lost to me in the game of sequel. <laughs> What you laughing at? Mo, hold on, camera on, bro. You can't, you can't, you can't laugh and talk and record at the same time. Nate, hey, what's up? <laughs> they get heavy towards the half court line. 
Well, I met Mo as a sophomore. I was actually a, a, just a regular teacher. I wasn't his coach, uh, but I had him for class. Outstanding young man, always did the right thing. And then this past year, I had the honor and the pleasure of coaching him. Out of my, what, 16, 17 years of coaching, uh, he's most definitely uh, one, of, you know, one of the special kids. You know, yeah, he, he, he averaged 30 a game. I know sometimes people may say, okay, well, he probably just put up a bunch of bad shots and things of that nature, but that wasn't him. Um, you can, you know, always look at game film. He's always trying to get his teammates involved, trying to do the right thing. So he might have averaged 30, um, and he probably could have did even more, but um, he wanted to be a team player, and, and that's what he's about. He, he's a special young man. The pass, he can shoot. He's a great team player. I mean, this past year, he put a team on his back that made the state playoffs at D.C., and not every team make the state playoffs, you know what I'm saying, in D.C. There's only 12 teams that make it. So for him to do what he did, not a lot of young, you know, young men could do what he did this past season. After you lay it up, it's like, I mean, you gotta be like Rashad or got no polo. Polo, you know, it's like impressive. Like, even if he know he's making it. Me as a coach, I mean, I'm, I'm big on giving back. You no, know, there is life after basketball. Um, and Antoine is showing it uh, right now that, you know, you can own your own business, be your own boss, or whatever avenue you decide to take. If you wanna be a, a broke teacher like me, you know, that's what you decide to do. That's what you decide to do. I, right before or right when the pandemic oh. happened, uh, we got a chance to get in, in the gym. Uh, it's called the Hoop Reunion. A lot of my former players uh, came back, and Mo's the only high school guy there. They got a chance for him to meet some of the guys he never met before, uh, gain some knowledge and experience, and most definitely, um, you know, build that connection uh, where he doesn't have to always, you know, come to me or others. You know, he can go to people that, you know, been down the path that he's going. You know, Mo has a lot of, you know, family things that's going on. Brother hasn't been that well. You know, he's kind of the man of the house. Arms is a strong, you know, strong woman, um, but he take care of home. How long have you been playing ball for? Uh, probably since I was like eight, nine. I love this shit and hate it at the same time. Growing up, I've been playing with him my whole life. Football, basketball. Coach Mack been like a mentor to me, like father figure. I remember I couldn't, I wouldn't dribble the basketball at the court. <laughs> I was missing yeah, layup. That's funny. Because when he first came, man, it was, you know, you couldn't project the level that he has kind of gotten to now. It all started right in this gym. I had no confidence. No confidence. Never made, never made a shot. Wouldn't shoot the ball. Could make a layup. Coach Mack, every kid, every coach in here pushed me to my limit. Coach Lou, Coach Nett, Coach Rock, every coach, Coach D, every coach in here pushed me to reach my potential today. You know, people see sports and see basketball, but there's issues before you get to the gym. So when they get here, you want to make it as good as you can for them here. And we want to make sure when they leave here, the last thing that they hear is something positive, take it home, and then they'll take it to school and they'll just keep building. So it was really, really good for him. We still working though. That jersey right there, I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to be signing that jersey first, but that's my kill, false jersey. He signed it before he got drafted. Coach Mike put it on the wall. You're too grown then to grow it up. <laughs> I gotta catch you when I can. Thing. Get that off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> talk to him. Talk to him. I'm gonna come pop up. Good. Oh, I'm good. See, there you go with that good stuff. I'm doing great uh, in books. Be, it's gonna be great. When I catch you, it's gonna be great. Like the camera action. You will not take that camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going over here, man. You guys see me train, recover, and my old school. Now I'm out.